The one chapter in the book that perhaps is a little different than all the others is the chapter on Hannah Skihi Sheffington. We're doing this interview in a room on the campus at Belfield that is actually the Hannah Skihi Sheffington building. And I work in the school and that's the name of our building and we're rightfully proud of her and proud of that name. And she's an important figure in Irish society. But she wrote no great books. She wrote many articles and pamphlets, but she led a political life that was fascinating and brilliant and took on some of the big ideas uh, that were, at, if you will, holding back women in Irish society. She rebelled not just against gender inequality, but against the entire class where she came from. Her brothers and uncles and father were all members of the Irish party that refused to back votes for women when this was the campaign for this was taking place because they felt it would compromise the case for Irish home rule. So basically she became a dissident against that kind of home rule nationalism. She became a Republican after her husband was murdered uh, in the 1916 revolution. Uh, Francis Skihi Sheffington, who was a pacifist, so she was a pacifist, sorry he was a pacifist, pardon me, uh, and, and, and then she became quite a radical Republican in the aftermath of this. And then her final rebellion, her next rebellion was against the Free State, uh, which she felt basically had betrayed the revolution. So she engaged in a journey that took her from feminism to republicanism. Uh, she wasn't the author of, of, of books, but she wrote some important pamphlets and articles. But, but she existed in the middle of a debate that involved many others. And I think that's the other way intellectual history plays out, not just always through the writings of great men or women, but in a field where a lot of people are making contributions to a debate or a story at the same time. So Hannah Ski Sheffington was one of a number of Republican women uh, who were very important in the battle of ideas that affected our country before, during and after independence in particular, uh, and who are celebrated rightly today for that very reason. And the reason I picked up on Hannah Ski Sheffington for this book was not just the, her own writings and her own ideas and the arguments she got into and how these shifted over time, but because she has left the most wonderful archive in the National Archives, an archive of, 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 of great correspondence with many others that casts a light on so much that is taking place in Irish society during the course of her life.